Welcome back to the Iowa State Fair. Yes, we still have some light showers, kind of drizzle out here. Uh, not the brightest of days after all the gorgeous weather we've had throughout the start of the State Fair. This might be the rainiest daytime that we find. I think we are going to find storms very early and then late night later on in our seven day forecast. We're here on top of uh, JR South Fork Ranch. And this is where you can stay dry. It's so nice. You find a lot of folks out here, but also when it rains, we get guys that come inside. What's your name, bud? Cash. And? Cade. Cash and Cade. Are you guys related? Yeah, we're brothers. Oh, you are brothers. Great. So you're the freshman. Yep. Gonna be, right? Yeah. Yeah. And you're the senior. Yep. And you guys show cattle here. I think I talked to you. Was it your dad that I talked to earlier? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> this guy? No. Oh, no. no. Uncle. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's your uncle, right? Well, yeah. Something, like that. Something like that. Something like that. You're really not sure. Just friends and family, right? Yep. We all kind of blend together at the state fair. So, uh, what what kind of cattle are you showing this year? Beef. And yeah. beef too. Yeah. yeah. But is it like a certain breed? Is it a certain just straight up going to? He has a market steer, and then I have a breeding heifer. Oh, great! That's cool. So, what happens later on? I mean, do you guys get pretty attached to these animals? Not really. Not really. You're past that. Yeah, I don't blame you. Yeah, it's a good thing because I mean, you know, I see some kids that are a lot younger than you guys, but they get really attached. You know, it's not easy uh, to get through this. So, how long are you going to be here? Uh, till Wednesday. And what do you do between now and then? Uh, tom well, tomorrow I show my heifer, and then he'll show Wednesday. But just walk around all today, I guess. That is great. Okay, have you guys ever been stepped on while you're showing? Yes. yes. Yeah, I know. It happened to me one time. I mean, I was doing the Governor's Steeler Show. And got stepped on. So do you guys, well, those aren't the shoes you're wearing when you're showing, right? No. You got boots? Yeah. Steel toe? Nope. Nope? Just cowboy boots. Oh, yeah. Well, good for you. That's, I wore steel toe and it still hurt. <laughs> uh, so uh, this year you're going to be a senior. What are you going to do after you're done? Probably just farm, family farm and stuff like that, I think. Dude, that is awesome. We need family farmers, you know. We need to keep those generations going. What about you? What do you think you're going to do? Work. Yeah, work. Well, you're doing that already. I see you guys. You do a lot of work out here. Do you stay here like overnight with your kettle? No, we, we actually rent an Airbnb and just stay there. But Fabulous. Far away. That's great. Airbnb. That's a pretty good deal. I see some kids like used to live with their cattle. It felt like, you know, like all 24-7. I'll take the Airbnb. That's good. Thank you guys, both of you, for being here. I appreciate it. And you're uh, up from north uh, northeast Iowa. Yep. I love it. Thank you guys so much. Yeah, thank you. Didn't they look excited to be on TV? Like I was, I, I almost had to drag them over here to be on. <laughs> I love it.